One, two, three. What's going on YouTube? This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm sorry that my last couple videos have had no audio. I uh, couldn't, uh, the TV is being used, I couldn't record or capture like this. So unfortunately I wasn't able to show you what I see. But here we are at the home screen on our Amazon Fire TV. We had an older version and it didn't say there was an update. And then while flipping through the settings right before I was about to downgrade, it did say there was an update that I needed to power down to go ahead and install it. So the version I was on, I tried to go ahead and install custom recovery, and I, I was on the wrong version. So when I went to reboot to recovery, it sat at an Amazon screen in a very terrible uh, definition, like less than 480p, like terrible. And so I had to unplug it, plug it back in, it went ahead and booted up. I installed stock recovery, I down so that I could go ahead and apply the update.zip, the rom.zip that was actually a downgrade. I downgraded and then rerouted and then and then installed custom recovery, wiped the system, the cache, Delvet cache, the I mean I wiped everything I possibly could and then I installed and here we are scratch. So, let's go ahead and go down to our settings and then we're going to go to applications. And you're going to notice this is a little bit different as well. So instead of typing in like your password and then hitting the play button, you just type in your password and it instantly validates and goes ahead and goes there. Uh, so I'm going to go to manage installed applications and I'm going to show you the biggest difference with this update. So let's launch the application and using our mouse on the USB hub that we have connected to the USB port, we are going to go to USB storage and then we're going to go to SDA1. And we're going to try to install folder mount. See, it says install block settings, blah, blah, blah. Not going to work. Couldn't go to settings before. That was the big issue. There was actually an exposed module. And it was called, um, I'm going to pull it up here on my computer. It was called Direct APK Install. Uh, just Google that on the exposed mod module rep uh, repository. Or you can just go ahead and go to the repo.expose.info website and search for direct APK install. That method did work. It it bypasses the unknown sources thing, but we don't have to do that anymore. Now we can simply just back out of here and go to our settings and then go to system, developer options, and then check this out. Allow installation from unknown sources. We can hit on, okay. And now when we go back to our applications, oops, didn't mean to turn that on. Manage installed applications, ES File Explorer, launch application. And then again, using our mouse, we're gonna head over to our USB storage. A stick mount has mounted our flash drive. That's how we're able to do this, SDA1. And then folder mount, look at that. Now we can go ahead and install this and Open it up, grant it root access. Uh, yes, I do have a backup, so I'm gonna go ahead and restore that. And then I can go ahead and install like the exposed module here, or exposed installer, and then open that up. And we can go ahead and install that. We can we can do everything. This is awesome. So we won't we don't want to reboot at the moment. Let's go back. And do we have any modules? We don't have any modules at the moment. We need to install a couple of them. Like, um, yeah. So, and also like this right here, install, next. The big deal about this is before you had to go to the computer, you had to type in ADB connect, the IP address, da, and then enter, and then ADB install the program. Well, if you already had, like say you had Titanium Backup installed, and then you, there was an update. You would go to update it, ADB install, Titanium backup, and it would go package already exists or some error like that. So you would have to actually go in here to your installed applications and then go to uninstall, and you would have to uninstall it, and then go to the computer, ADB install. It was kind of a mess. That exposed module that I was just telling you about was pretty awesome, but um, this is this is even better. This is this is incredible. Now we can just go ahead and install stuff without 
any workarounds or exposed modules or anything like that right from the settings. So USB storage, SDA1, and let's go ahead and install Chrome. <laughs> oh, this is this is awesome. I'm really enjoying this. This is uh, the Amazon Fire TV definitely became more useful. If this video helped you out at all, please give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And yeah, this is what we Josh do, and I'm out.